You okay? Uh, yeah, sorry. It is six months after the tragedy. In this police video, Lisa Banfield is showing an officer where she lived with the gunman in Portapique, taking him back to the night Gabriel Wortman burned their cottage to the ground. And I remember him with a can just whoosh, like throwing gas. The warehouse where he kept his replica police cruiser. Banfield and Wortman had been chatting with friends on FaceTime that night. Then Wortman got angry. Like if the bar was here, it was probably like this to the bar. And I'm like, Gabriel, it doesn't have to be like this. Like, please, no. The commission also shared details about their relationship. Wortman called Banfield degrading names, withheld her own money, prevented her from seeing her family, and repeatedly physically abused her. Part of the inquiry's mandate is to examine the role of intimate partner violence to create recommendations to prevent future tragedies. Ms. Banfield told the RCMP that she could not remember other instances of domestic violence because there were so many times. Banfield told police on the night of the massacre, Wortman assaulted her, handcuffed her, and ripped off her sneakers. And he said, now you can't run, you little bitch. But Lisa Banfield did run. She says she dove through this window, escaped from the back of his mock police car, and ran into the woods barefoot. If I can just find that tree. In the police video, Banfield is combing through the woods, determined to show the officer exactly where she hid. It was like a huge tree that was down, and it and had a big hole in it that I buried myself, part of my body in. She stayed there overnight, with temperatures dipping close to zero. I think this is it. Less than two months after she walked the RCMP through what happened to her, the force charged Banfield with supplying ammunition. The matter has since been referred to restorative justice, and the charge will be withdrawn. On Friday, Banfield will appear before the inquiry to take questions publicly. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.